we've had a lot of requests to actually see a CAD file get converted into an IM all in one step. So that's what we're going to do today. We're going to actually use a bullet. I uh, had a CAD image sent over to me, and we're going to actually set this whole thing up, do a profile check on two of the radiuses, uh, and just go from there. So I'm sitting in our offline editor right now. We're going to go to CAD import. And we can load up any of the DXFs. So I'm actually going to load this 2730 test file and hit open. Now what you see here, this is the actual DXF file. So the red portions here are the actual model itself. The yellow portions are the portions of the DXF that are on the tolerance layer. These are what will get automatically pulled in if we wanted them to. Anything that would be blue, which we don't have any on this drawing, is part of the comments layer. So those are features that won't actually be imported at all. Actually, I believe there's uh, some up here. So these sorts of features are on the comments layer. You can also see that there's portion of this part that we don't really have an interest in. So what we're going to do is actually just select and center this portion of it. Now this is a one-to-one -one drawing and it is an inch, so I don't have to change any of those settings. Hit next and it's going to actually pull in the CAD data. So I can remove those features that I don't really care about by holding control and simply highlighting everything and it'll delete all that excess material. So here's my actual bullet. We'll go to fill, fill that in, and hit next. So these are those yellow portions that I was talking about, the things that will automatically get pulled in right off of the drawing. In this case we're really just interested in the profile of these radiuses here. So I'm just going to say no, we don't want to have those imported hit complete and it's going to convert that into an actual CAD file or from a CAD file into an IMS file. Okay, so here we go. Here's our actual part. Now, if you notice on here, see how the edges are somewhat blurred out? What the IM is doing is it takes that CAD image and then it converts it into something that it feels would be somewhat representative of the real world. So it tries to make it a little bit easier for the system and for you in setting up your programs. Now on importing a CAD file in for profile, we don't want that, we want the actual CAD portion. So what we're going to do is come up to the top here and see where it says show CAD elements. Now I have the actual CAD lines and you can see I can highlight or select these. So the first thing we have to do before we do any sort of profile is put in a coordinate setting. And actually you need to do this for any type of CAD imports. So our options are two line or line and point. Now in this case, what I'm going to use is these two edges and create a bisector, and we'll use this flat here. So let's go into Virtual Figures, Bisector, click on this edge, click on that edge. Now nothing's been drawn in place, but you can see that this has been illuminated. That's because we're only looking at CAD information right now. If I go back to our normal display, you'll see that line appears. Okay, so let's set the coordinate setting now. We go to Coordinate Setting, to Line, oh, it's disappeared. Again, it's going back to CAD, so it'll show everything. Click the vertical, click the horizontal. Now, it's important to pay attention as to which direction your positive X and positive Ys are. This will come into play later on. Hit OK. Now we can drop in our profiles. So here's our profile tool under GD and T. Simply highlight the area and place. Let's convert this over to inch. Let's turn that off. Convert to inch. Okay, so this drawing has a plus or minus 0 0.003 for the tolerance band, which is a bilateral tolerance. The IM uses unilateral tolerances after ASME 14.5 revision 2009. So we just put in the 0 0.006. Means the same thing, just two different ways of showing it. Do the second portion of it. drop that in place and again make that 0 0.006 and hit OK. So now when we hit measure they're going to drop these values in. It's a little tricky to see but can you see this blue line right here and then there's a gray bar underneath it. That blue line is the CAD portion of the model and the area underneath that is that 0 0.003 tolerance band. It continues up above as well you just can't kind of see it in this image. So now we have the actual profiles pulled in and we have the dimensions. You'll notice that this is showing up as not being perfect. That is because it's taken the information from the CAD model and is comparing it to the IM's image. 
So you're actually seeing how much error the IM image is putting in there in its attempt to fake out the system. All right, so let's save this. Hit OK, it's giving me an error saying we haven't registered. You cannot register using a CAD model. You need to use a real component. So let's put this in. We're going to call this just 2730. And actually, let's save this again. And this time I'm going to save it onto the network directly to my IM itself. So that I have one copy for myself and one copy on the IM itself. So hit save as, and that's saved. Okay, so we are done with the CAD portion. Now we can switch over to the IM and finish it up. So let's switch over to our IM. Okay, so now we're on the IM. We're going to go under our measurement settings. And now we have our actual bullet. This is a real one right here. If we can keep it from rolling off. There we go. So what we need to do is mimic whatever it was that we did on the first portions CAD. So remember that we had gotten a bisecting line and then we did this flat. We need to do the same thing. So use line to line. Grab this line here. Grab this line here and grab this one back here. Attach all of those. Virtual figures, bisecting line. Great. And put in the coordinate settings. Use the same ones we'd use the first time. This is the X and this is the Y. Now remember I'd mentioned to pay attention to where your positive X and positive Y were? You need to make sure that those match up. So you can click this, reverse the direction of the X, and it'll switch where your positive X and positive Y are. Great. Hit OK. Now we are ready to import the CAD. So we go to Edit, Position Adjustment, Overlap CAD Data. Load it up. And it's going to tell us that once we've converted it from a CAD, we can't convert it back again. That's fine. There's our 2730 program. So we select the program and hit Open. It's going to drop those CAD that CAD file right on top. And I can actually take a look and say, yep, there's our CAD. And you can almost immediately, just with your own eyes, see where you have some differences between the CAD model and the live part itself. Now, you'll notice the coordinate setting is missing. That coordinate setting was only used to import the CAD data. So it doesn't have to be the setting that the actual part uses. In this case, I'm going to reuse it again, so I do have to draw it in again. Coordinate setting. This line, this line. Let's reverse that. Hit OK. And measure. So now you're all set. And what you can see here when you zoom in You'll see that blue line where your best fit is. So this is coming in a little low. And you'll be able to see some green points up here where you're right along the line, as well as the gray area for your tolerance band, which is that 0 .003. At this point, we can register it, save it, and you're done. You are now ready to run that part. So I hope this was helpful. Please feel free to check out any other guides that we have on here and continue to ask questions. Thanks a lot.